So, I, uh, I got the engine out. And, um, show you a little bit what the engine bay looks like. There's a big hole there. I just cut this cross member off. I'm going to do a proper job with a thick pipe. It's not a solid pipe, I was going to say, but uh, just a real pipe, not a sort of a eye beam or a channel like this a real proper pipe and uh, I'm gonna attach it here with bolts so that you can remove it so that it's removable I might put one in the bottom too I'm not sure um, it certainly add more safety to my car with that um, so uh, I'll fix that hole there Oh, bless me. And you see, the good thing that I got the engine out is that I'm going to be able to repair all the things that I wasn't able to repair before. So, that corner there for sure. Uh, let's try to get some more light. The other way, there we go. So, that's the maximum light we can get. But that there. Surprised that there's no rust on it yet, but we definitely gotta, f you know, fill those crevices in there. Either weld them up or put some silicone or whatever on it. This crevice here too, it's gotta be fixed right there. I don't like that. There's a hole there too. Down there, there's some pretty big rust holes. You can't see it. I sort of see it, I guess. It's a bit too dark. Yeah, but there's, there's big holes right there. That part there is chewed up pretty good. Fix that too. This side is not too bad. I don't know why they made these stupid holes. These holes here just serve to stop water and chunk on it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Definitely gonna get rid of those holes there. And uh, yeah, some some rust spots there. And we're gonna I'm gonna make this engine bay look like new. For sure. There's a where the heater coin still that's too bright. I got it out through the top. I could have probably slid it back if I removed the uh, transmission cross member transmission bracket. But it would have been more difficult. I had I would have had to put the engine on a little dolly. And then pull it all through the front, and lift the car up, and I bet you that the uh, this here, this cross member here, steering linkage would be in the way. And uh, I just don't like this being welded here directly. The engine comes out through the top really easily if this thing is not in the way. So, and I didn't like that it's not a pipe. I really want it to be a pipe, so. So that's my reason there. And uh, see, we're gonna do the engine rebuild and a bunch of stuff while I'm at it. There's a lot of junk and gunk there. Let's clean this up really nice. Well, all that we have to do. See, this is a, a huge advantage of uh, rear wheel drive vehicles. See, you can disconnect the transmission, disconnect the motor, it comes off. But if you have a front wheel drive car, it turns into a nightmare. You got to do, to remove the engine, you got to remove the transmission, you got to remove the wheels, you got to remove axles, front axles. You got to disassemble pretty much the whole car. So.
Thunderbird's back. And here's the engine. A lot of junk and garbage on it. So there was a leak here. As you can see, this gasket is bad. When you pull up the gaskets and it's flimsy like that, it's got space on it. That means it's bad in that section. And you can see here where it used to leak. Here it's nice and firm. It's like straight. A lot of rust here for some reason. On the, uh, it might have prevented the... Uh, I don't know where all this garbage is coming from. Maybe it was already in the engine like that because I just ran, ran this engine with coolant. So, see lots of junk and garbage on it all around. I cut the exhaust here. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna put a flange on it. I made this little cart here, this little uh, trailer with uh, some solid pipe that I had for almost a decade. <laughs> and uh, there's a bit of a crack in the head, so it's a bit of a crack head. <laughs> Got the uh, bell housing out, and it's a uh, five bolt pattern. I don't know if this matches the Ford, but uh, the most important part is the transmission. I don't know about the transmission. Just a four-hole pattern. I'll try to get specific measurements later. Just wanted to do a video, little video tour. I have to get the uh, engine possibly welded. But head. Be a new head if that's even possible. Let's try to get that number there. Depending on how much they charge me to weld this, I might weld it myself, but it's it involves a bit more work. It's like 318. 719B or 8, sorry. 318 7198. 318 Some more block numbers. Let's see there. Yeah, I'll have to. It's a 15A there. Seven zero thirty six. I guess that's the block casting. Seventeen. I right, guess pretty much it for now. Uh, do we have a part number on the bell housing here? Little flimsy aluminum bell housing. I mean, it's pretty thick, but I don't really like it. I wish it was cast iron. This is very, very light. There's the, uh, I'm trying to get the bolt pattern there. So there's that big bolt there, and then it goes three on the top, and another one on the opposite side. This this wasn't here originally, by the way. I uh, welded this. This is just a cast iron pipe fitting from uh, Home Depot Auto Parts. I welded in there. It, it, it held up pretty good. No no problems with it. So I I wasn't able to weld here, but but then again, um, I didn't prepare it properly. So you got to preheat the whole head and. It's, I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I just tried to weld it with coolant inside. That was stupid.